from the start of, the, of Jim's design work, there were bells. Bells. Uh, it wasn't all about the bells, but it was eventually going to be bells. The bell tower was always part of the design, the rose tower. And the, the bells were just the finishing touch. And, and Jim really had a dream and a vision uh, to put something on top of that um, bell tower. And but I'm a practical guy working with a committee trying to raise the money for this project. I kept saying, couldn't we do the bells as an add-on later, you know, five, ten years from now? However, the bell tower stayed. The rose tower was, was always there and built with uh, immense capability. All the while we were working on the design and completing our campaign and kind of unbeknownst to me, he was moving the bell part of this project forward. He was bound to determine <laughs> that we would get to the bells. So there were just some things he said, well, wait. Um, and then the city of bells um, sort of appeared out of nowhere. And that really then started to re-energize us saying, well, we should do this. And Indications of gifts coming from uh, unsolicited, really, from our congregation's leaders who had heard about this project. Uh, just a handful of uh, gifts came forward, and it was enough to convince the session to give us the green light to go ahead. Personally, for me, bells move me. I have a passion for music, and bells are uh, just something that I find irresistible. Jim found what he felt were really the two best foundries uh, in the world for bells and they sent representatives to us. We interviewed them and we settled on the Picard foundry. And when the bell trip came up, um, primarily I think because Jim was not any longer going on the trip, um, Jim asked if I'd like to come, which I thought was great. Then when he came along and it was, it was quite emotional for all of us to they really haven't changed the way they do this. The technology in, in making the bells hasn't changed all that much over all these years. It was to me like a big oversized jeweler's studio because they have the, the tools and the carvings and the, the equipment they have is, is amazing. Oh, the heat and then the color of the uh, color that's the molten. molten color, the reds and the oranges and it was magical. It really was. When they tipped that cauldron and started to pour that, it was really astonishing. We were all in awe. It was bright red. It was the incredible heat that was generated. And uh, it almost, I don't know whether I was just mesmerized because of uh, seeing our, our bell uh, poured or whether I was just faint from the, uh, the heat. These probably six or eight workers were totally tuned into each other about where they were. It's so technical, it's so dangerous, it's so hot that they have to do it perfectly. Um, the emotion of it was quite incredible and not just for me, it's not just about Jim, but to, f to actually see this bell, these bells and imagine them hanging from the top of Westminster. It was really quite impactful. Oh yeah, when they come out of the mold, um, they're not as impressive looking as you would like them to be. <laughs> they're just, they're kind of ashy and, and uh, needing polishing. Need well, luckily I didn't have to crack the mold off because it took that young man quite a time with the, the sledgehammer to, to get that mold off. Uh, actually, the, the first one that was rung was rung by Joni. She used a big mallet and we had just peeled off the mold of the bell that was hanging there. We asked Joni to ring it and she rang it three times. Uh, I don't know exactly what was going through her head, but certainly going through my head was this is being rung for Jim. And the sound was beautiful. It just, it, to me, it's unlike any bells I've ever heard. It's just beautiful. And I'll have a dedication April 5th, 2020. They'll be rung for the first time and we'll uh, have the congregation go out. Hopefully it'll be a beautiful spring day. I'm coming well prepared with my Kleenex. 
And of course, the next Sunday is Easter. So what a great way to celebrate Easter uh, with our bells ringing and a, and a random peal. And he knew they were going to be done. He just, he just knew it. And, and it did happen, I think. It, it is the finishing touch. That will signal, I think, uh, the completion of this project, but it also, to me, signals the opening of the future to, the, to this church. It's Westminster speaking in sound uh, to this city. So I'm, I'm happy that he saw the church finished, for sure. And um, not quite finished, but he knew it was gonna happen. Every city should have some bells that are ringing all the time. And those bells will, in a way, be the, the resounding uh, signal that Westminster has entered a new era. Thank you.